experience. We are so grateful to God for the beautiful young lady on my left who came in, came in with the praise, didn't take her seat, but just came right in, clapping her hands, giving God the praise, worshiping the Lord and the beauty of holiness. Once again, we thank God for Brother Cameron Mayhew from Victory Global Academy, who is back with us on today to all of our guests, all of our friends. We're just happy. We're celebrating Jesus with hearts filled with joy, our pastor and first lady, they officially exchanged their vows on Saturday, on Friday. They are now officially wed in holy matrimony out of the country on their honeymoon. And for that, we are so grateful. But the first family is here. They're here along with their auntie, Christina. Let's thank God for Princess Ava and Prince Josiah in the house on today. So very grateful for all of the things that God is doing we're grateful because God said for the, the heaviness that we can put on the oil of joy. We can take off that garment of heaviness and we can put on the oil of joy. And what a great example we have here today offering up such a powerful prayer. And here just getting into the praise and worship, having buried his daughter on yesterday, but today still here giving God the praise. Let's just thank God for our faithful deacon, Leo, right in the name of Jesus and to all the saints of God, we're just so grateful. And as we prepare to go higher with our second call of praise, I want you to just put your hands together for our very faithful praise team, our music ministry who sacrifice their time and everything they come on Wednesday to prepare to offer unto God a more perfected praise. Would you put your hands together and let's just celebrate our ABYPU president, our deacon and our worship leader. Let's thank God for Deacon Shaquille Bailey and his beautiful bride. Come on, I know we can do better than that. Let's thank God for the Baileys. Let's thank God for Princess Brianna, who's in the house in the name of Jesus. We thank God for her. And let's put our hands together in grateful appreciation for our Levites. We thank God for Brother Pettifor. Amen. And we thank God for Brother Dondre Butler. Thank you. And we don't want you for one minute to think that this is a show in which you have come to spectate. God has done too much for you. So you've got to participate in this worship experience. We have a very special treat on today. Bishop McCoy will be here ministering the word of God in just a few moments. But while we are waiting for the man of God to arrive, I want just everybody to declare within yourself, I'm going to praise God like I realize this may be my last time. I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know who holds tomorrow, and that is Jesus. And because it is Jesus, and because he lives, and because he gave you more breath in your body, that you are here and you are living on today, let's just unite with this music ministry, and let's just worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, remembering that God is, and they that come to him must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Why don't you stand to your feet now as we go into our second call to worship and receive our music ministry, Deacon Shaquille Bailey and the praise team in Jesus' name. Come on, let's do it together. Everybody clap those hands. Oh, yes. Oh, Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Come on, help me say. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are so good. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you're so good. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. 
people from every nation, people from every nation and tongue, from generation to we worship, we worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship you for who you are. Oh, we worship, we worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship you for who you are. Oh, you're good. You are. Everybody clap those hands Say Lord you are good sir. Lord, Lord you, you are, are good, good and your mercy and Anybody know that the Lord is good Lord you're so good Lord you are good and your mercy and forever Lord you're so good Lord, you Lord, you're so good. Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Oh, people from every nation. People from every nation and tongue. From generation. We worship. We worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, we worship. Just for who you are. Come on, can we lift our hands? We worship. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, we worship for who you are. Oh, you're good. Put those hands together. Come on and give God the glory. Yeah. Oh, you are good all the time and all the time. You are, you know it. You are. You're so good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're so good, yeah, and all, all the time you're good, you are, yes you are, yes you are, yes you are, you are good, yes you are, so very good, 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 everybody give a praise. Come on, give him a real good, good praise. Oh, oh, say you are good. You are all the time. And all the time, you are good. You are good. Yes, you are good. All the time. Oh, you are so good. Oh, yes, you are all the time. All the time. You are good. You are good and all the time, all the time. Oh, give them praise. Come on, how many of you God has been so, so good? So, so good. Oh, been mighty, mighty good. Been mighty, mighty good. 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 Mighty, Been mighty, mighty good. Been mighty, mighty good. Mighty, mighty good. Mighty, mighty good. Mighty, mighty good. Been mighty, mighty good. Been mighty, mighty good. Mighty, mighty good. Mighty, mighty good. Been mighty, mighty good. 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 
Mighty, mighty good. Mighty, mighty good. Mighty, mighty good. Everybody give a praise. Anybody know that the Lord is good? The Lord is good. The Lord is good. People, people from never. Yeah. We worship. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Lord, we worship you for who you are. Oh, we worship. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship you for who you are. Oh, you're good. You are good. Give him a real good praise. Come on, can we stand all over the house and give God one big praise? Come on, let's praise him together from the depths of your soul. Give him glory. Give him glory. Oh, yeah. He's good. The Lord is good. Come on, Zion. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're not going to stop the worship. We're not going to stop the praise. It's offering time. Oh, come on, the saints got quiet. It's offering time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. If you're ready to give, we stand all over the house. Oh, yes, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, y'all know it, my faith. Hallelujah. My faith looks up to thee. Oh, thy land of Calvary. Say. our gifts to the Lord. Father, we thank you for how you've blessed us, for how you kept us, oh God. Now God, we ask you to bless these gifts that's going to be sown into this fertile good ground. Oh God, let it represent every soul that will come unto you into repentance. And God, we're going to give your name the praise, the glory, and honor in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, lift it up. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. You may come and give your gifts. Bless 
blessings and blessings and, and glory and honor they all belong to you thank you jesus Hallelujah. We thank you for your giving. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to bring, as we stand all over the house, as we bring forth our diocese and bishop of the 40 Ecclesiastical Diocese. Come on, that's right. Give it up for our prophet, our man of God that's leading us. No other than Bishop M. Rule McCord Sr. Come on, Zion. Raise it up. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus. You may be seated. God is good. God is good. And all the time, God is good. Now, unless my eyes are fooling me, I'm looking at one of my longtime friends back there. Yeah. From Babard County? Yeah, but have you been around here at any time in the last 30 years? Yeah. Yeah, so this is not your first time here. Amen. I remember there's something about you that connected with me. Amen. So you are welcome back in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. How many know God is a good God? Oh, I've been here for 30 years, y'all. And I give God the glory and the praise. Amen. I'm just glad to be here on today. Amen. I know this is a tough day for all of us amen we've been amen preaching and teaching amen and i'm getting a lot, a lot of hissing amen somehow i don't know if the mic is maybe the battery is going out or whatever but if you can help me with that hissing and also amen we got news that uh some audio problems with the earlier part of the service so that's that's corrected all right very good very Amen. We're thankful to God. Amen. For his goodness, we thank God. Amen. For Deacon Shaquille Bailey and the praise team. How the Lord has blessed them. Amen. As they have been. Amen. Growing in grace and in knowledge. I caught a little of his prophetic utterance on Facebook a little earlier in this week. And I was telling him, be careful about slipping in the shower. Come on and say hallelujah. Amen. And then, you know, hallelujah, he got his uncle over there. Amen. He got to be careful about that shower, too. Amen. Because, amen, going through bereavement with his family on yesterday and to Deacon Wright, I want you to know we love you and we're praying with you and your family. Amen. Continue to lead them and guide them through these turbulent times. How many realize many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers us out of them all. If you know you're delivered, say, I'm delivered. Praise the Lord. I do want to honor these Levites on today. Amen. Brother Pettiford, good to see you, man. God bless you. Hallelujah. And you know, our miracle little drummer boy, who ain't no little drummer boy no more. I saw him, amen, on yesterday. I said, oh, Dondre done grown up to a, a man. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother Cameron, we got some old videos of Brother Butler. He was maybe MJ size, or even smaller, and running up and down that pew. Amen. Waiting for his chance to get over here. Hallelujah. And the Lord blessed him and Amen. And allowed him to go away to college. Allowed him to come back. And he's in a master's program at Bethune Cookman University. And when, amen, the one he trained, amen, went away to serve these United States Navy. Amen. God bless you, Brother Ron Howard. Come on, clap your hands. Amen. Hallelujah. He knew that. Amen. We needed help. And God sent him back right on time. Who wouldn't serve a God like this? Give God the glory and the praise. 
Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, precious memories, how they linger, how they ever flood my soul. In the stillness of the midnight, sacred scenes unfold. What I want you to know, you are seeing something that's sacred. And it's being unfolded and it's being revealed unto you. But you got to have a spiritual sensitivity to know, amen, that this chapter is not the end of your story. Amen. How many know God got greater things ahead for you? Amen. I do want to say praise the Lord. Amen to the uh, Straightway Church of Christ. Amen. Come on, GRM. Give your Lord a hand praise for the Straightway Church of Christ. Amen. 37 Market Street in the city of New Haven, Connecticut. I have the privilege and the honor of pastoring that church. Amen. And uh, the Lord is just a miracle working God. Amen. Uh, Pastor McCoy is on his honeymoon out of the country. Amen. I thought y'all would celebrate love a little better than that, right? On today, we thank God for Pastor McCoy and First Lady McCoy. Amen. They, I don't know if it's going to be Rome or Paris or, or, or London, which, which one of them three in the order. But I think they're going to hit all three before they get back here. Amen. And so we're just thankful. But we got, amen, Sister Eva and Brother Josiah here with us on today. Amen. My grandchildren, y'all, thank God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God been good to me. Amen. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you, Jesus. And then we have, amen, Brother Cameron. Amen. Mayhew here with us. I don't know if y'all remember one of my childhood's friends. His name was Mark Mayhew. My name is Marcus McCoy. And if you understand, amen, how schools are assigned in homeroom, if you are Marcus McCoy, your homeroom always going to be with Mark Mayhew. Amen. He was about my size and height. Both of us were left-handed, and both of us went by the name Mark. So many times, folk would, amen, say Mark, and both of us would turn around. Hallelujah. I played on one side of the field. He played on the other side of the field. Amen. Well, this is his son, Cameron. Amen. And I thank God for Cameron Mayhew being in the house with us to, on today. Just looking back over my life and thanking God. Thank God, amen, for Mother McCoy. Amen. Such a trooper. Such a trooper. Deacon Wright, we had a busy day on Friday. Amen. Her first grandchild. Amen. Was brought together in holy matrimony. And thank God for all those who, amen, supported Pastor and Lady McCoy in their effort. Wasn't that just some kind of event? Come on and say thank you, Jesus. But I knew it was taxing on Mother McCoy. Hallelujah. And by the end of the night, she was weary. But she wanted to support you and your family. So even though, amen, her body's probably still having adjusted now, amen, she wanted to show her compassion because that's what an apostolic mother does. So I say to you, mother, God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for being one who has taught us how to be servants. All right, go with me in the book of Ephesians, chapter number one. Honor the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank him for what he has done in our life. I do thank God, amen, for my first and only lady, amen, Lady Bonona Dolores Bradley McCoy. And thank God for her. Thank God for all of you. It's good to see you in the name of the Lord. Ephesians chapter number one, amen, I want you to pick up at verse number 15. And then everybody that get the scripture, I want you to stand to your feet for the reading of God's holy word. Amen. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse number 15. And when you get Ephesians 1 and 15, I want you to shout at me and say, I'm with you, Pastor. I'm with you, Pastor. 
Amen. I get need, need, a, need a few more with me, and then I, I feel like I got the volume I need. Amen. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse number 15. If you dare say, I'm with you, Pastor. I'm with you, Pastor. Ah, uh, yeah, let's pull this train out. Verse number 15, wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all the saints, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. Verse 17, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, Give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Verse 18, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Y'all still with me? Verse 19, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us, Lord, who believe according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in heavenly places, far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. And he hath put all things under his feet, and gave him to be the head over all things to the church. In verse 23, collectively let us close out together, which is his body the fullness of him that filleth all in all. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you for your written word. Oh God, we thank you for the promise. Oh God, we thank you for the open heaven that's above us. Lord God, speak thou unto us. Edify us. Inspire us. Enlighten us. God, illuminate our minds and our thoughts and equip us for the work of ministry. We shall carefully, deliberately, and perpetually give you all praise, all glory, and all honor. Everybody that love the Lord, say in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. To God be the glory. Amen. This text that the Lord has given unto me, amen, that we've been preaching from the entirety of 2022 is a message of revelation. Paul prayed for the church at Ephesus. Amen. I'm praying that the Father of glory will grant unto you, amen, the spirit of wisdom. How many realize wisdom is a gift from God? Amen. And as we've been teaching about the spirit of wisdom, there's a familiar poem, which is actually a prayer called the serenity prayer. Amen. And many people who have heard the serenity prayer have not heard all of the prayer. But you know that first part that says, God grant me the serenity. And serenity means peace. How many know God wants you to have peace? Amen. God grant me the serenity or the peace to accept the things that I cannot change. Amen. I know Deacon Wright is not the only one that's asking God to give me peace with this thing that I can't change. Amen. He had to lay to rest his daughter on yesterday. And I know that there's some things that happened prior to yesterday that he wish he could have done a little different, wish it would have happened a little different. He don't have to tell me, but as his bishop, I know sometimes when things not going the way we want them to go, it'll bring stress on us. But how many know God will give you peace 
in the midst of things you can't change. Oh, I'm trying to help somebody. You're struggling with it right now. Amen. But let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. I shared with the church on yesterday that, amen, the number one death tool, if you will, the number one cause of death in all of humanity since the existence of man has been heart disease, heart failure, heart trouble. Your heart, amen, will take you out of here. Hallelujah. But the number one cause of heart failure, heart trouble, heart disease is stress. Oh, somebody need to know God will give you peace. Hallelujah. If you don't learn to have peace, amen, a healthy exterior will deteriorate. Nothing will cause you to leave here quicker than stressing your heart out. Amen. Let not your heart be troubled. It's an operative let not your heart be troubled. I'm trying to tell you we're living in the midst of trouble. We're living in the midst of stress, stress, if you will. We're living in the midst of trials. We're living in the midst of tribulation. But the believer got to have the spirit of wisdom. I'm not going to let this thing stress me out. Hallelujah. Not just walking around here with a cliche and a t-shirt. Too blessed to be stressed. Hallelujah. But I'm going to decree and declare, Lord, grant me the peace to accept the things that I cannot change. Anybody thank God for the peace right now? Come on, clap your hands and give God some glory. Hallelujah, Lord, give me the peace to accept this stuff. Well, if you understand that there are things you can't change, you got to understand that God has brought you to this season, to this moment, for a time such as this. Amen. Go with me to the book of John, chapter number 15. Is it all right if I take my time this morning? Amen. Lord, give me peace. John chapter number 15. I want you to look with me in verse number 7. The Bible says, Abide, excuse me, if ye abide in me, and my words, Abide in you. Ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Is that what your Bible says? If ye abide in me, anybody abiding in Christ, and my words abide in you. Ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Well, how is it? I'm in Christ. Christ is in me. I'm in the midst of a situation that I don't want to happen. How is it that God let it happen? God grant me the peace. To accept the things that I cannot change. How many realize that Christ is in you? He is the hope of your glory. Come on, give God some praise for understanding. Uh, Y'all me, with me on today? Verse number 8 says, Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit. You see... Lady Massey, it's a tough situation. But God brought me to this situation to be productive. So I'm not going to let the fact that I can't change it cause me to not understand that God is in me. And I and am him. And he knows 
what I need. So God grant me the peace out of serenity to accept the things that I can't change. But I kept on praying. I want to have the courage to change the things that I can. How many realize there's some stuff you can do some stuff about? I might can't change my situation, but I can change how I view my situation. If you got the spirit of wisdom, amen, God will give you revelation and the knowledge of him that you can say, I can do all things. Through Christ that strengthened me. If you know the joy of the Lord is your strength, I want you to open up your mouth and give God a strong praise. Uh, hallelujah. Now, you, you, you call that a strong praise? Hallelujah. You call that a strong praise? Hallelujah. Is that the kind of praise you relying on? I'm going to praise God so I've been made, waiting for 10 days, but I'm at the place where he told me to wait. Because he said, if I go there and wait on him, how do I know it's him? Because he's going to do with me with power. Anybody thank God for a mighty working power? Lift your voice and give God some praise and say hallelujah. Oh, the power of God on the inside. I wish I can get some power filled saints. A man that realized that great is he that's in you than he that's in the world. I'm on my way there. Just a few more minutes. Hallelujah. Herein is my father glorified. How is he glorified? I got to go and bear, and everybody say, much fruit. Amen. Now I'm going to back it up a little bit. Hallelujah. Go back to verse number one. Amen. Verse number one lets you know who's in you. He says, I am not just an ordinary vine, not just a normative vine, but I am the true vine. Amen. Now, when I got ready to explain to you about how this deadly virus came to your house, it actually started on the other side of the world. One person was impacted was infected. Now the virus was already here. How many realize there's nothing new under the sun? But God uncovered its ability and allowed this individual, one person caught the virus and touched somebody else. And that person touched somebody else. And within a year, the virus was over the face of the whole earth. Well, if you understand the power of being contagious, I want you to take it out of the natural and I want you to put it in the spiritual. And when you begin to give God your praise, I want you to know that your praise is contagious. Amen. I don't want to just praise him by myself. I don't want to praise him and act like, amen, God don't have something for me. Because just like the virus was already here, God says, I am the true vine. And my father is the husband man. Now, if you understand what a husband man is, amen, he is a vine dresser. How many realize that God is taking care of you? Amen. You're not like everybody else. That's why you can't praise God like everybody else. Amen. Because Dr. McCoy, I praise him like this. You don't know like I know what the Lord done for me. You wasn't there. You don't know when and you don't know where. There's some stuff I would have changed, but I couldn't. There's some stuff that got me upset. Amen. But God was patient with me. Until I got a peace to say to the God of my salvation, to God be the glory for the great things he's done. Deacon Wright, can you say, to God be the glory. Your daughter Ozara is not with you, but can you say, to God be the glory. 
Mother McCoy, you might be struck in your body. You can't dance like you used to. Amen. But can you praise him better than you used to? Somebody give God some praise right now and say, to God be the glory for the great things he had done. You see, God is the one that did it because he is the vine dresser. Amen. He would not have allowed it to happen unless he had a purpose in it happening to me because I realize all things. Oh, I wish I had somebody can thank God for all things. Amen. All things are working together for my good. Amen. To them who are the called of God. Amen. Anybody realize that God going to get the glory? This fruit that you're producing through this difficult situation is going to require some work. God grant me the courage to change the things that I can. I know I can't do nothing about that. But this right here, I got it. How many realize no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper? I'm not going to let the fear of death cause me to sit here paralyzed. I'm not going to let the fear of contracting a deadly disease, amen, quiet my praise. I'm not going to let your isolation make me feel like God is not worthy of the praise. I got to give him the praise. I got to give him the glory. He's been too good to me. He brought me from a mighty long way. When I was down, he picked me up. When I was too high, he brought me down. He taught me how to give him the glory. Is there anybody want to give God some glory? Somebody begin to magnify the Lord. My father is the husband man. Look what the text says. Verse number two. Every branch. Every branch. Now hermeneutically. You got to know the difference between the vine. And the branch. If you're going to understand. My prayer for your life. A lot of us think. That we are the vine. No you are the resource. But God is the source. You are the tool. But he is the master. You are the vessel. But the praise that's coming up out of your mouth is him that's on the inside of you. How many know God inhabits the praises of his believers? In other words, when you praise him and you don't open up your mouth, you don't release your stress. Amen. You are quenching the Holy Spirit. It's not how loud you are. Amen. How many decibels. But it's how much power is in your praise. Somebody begin God to give God some praise for the power on the inside. I praise him from the rising of the sun. I praise him for the going down of the saints. When you begin to praise God, amen, the praise has got to go up. But the blessings come down. But you will understand what the true vine is. If you understand what the real source of life is, you will understand that you're not like everybody else. Because the text in Psalm says, let everything that have breath praise ye the Lord. But that's a praise that goes to everybody. But when you understand who you are, and what time it is. The hour has come and now is. When the true worshipers. Shall worship the father how? In the spirit. And in truth. Because he's the true vine. Because he is the vine dresser. I'm not going to quash. I'm not going to quench. I'm going to give him the praise. Because when I feel the spirit of God. Moving on the inside. You need to tell your neighbor, I got to give him the praise. Hallelujah, I got to give him the glory. I got to give him the honor. When you start praising him, praise will position you to a place that you will begin to worship God. How do you begin to worship him? Because I transition from out of the natural into the spiritual. You see, in the natural, 
I'm limited by how much breath I can have in my lungs. Amen. When I'm natural, I'm limited on how much I can hear through my ear. Somebody can't even hear the music like you used to hear. But I want you to hear the spirit better than you ever heard it before. Up above my head, I hear music in the air. How many know when you woke up this morning, amen, you heard God talking to you, telling me it's going to be all right. Amen. I had Deacon Wright on yesterday, amen, encouraging the saints that your best, I hear you, preacher, your best is yet to come. Come on, help me preach. Stand up and just tell them what you told them on yesterday. Tell GRM your best is yet to come. Come on, clap your hands and give God some glory. What are you talking about, McCoy? Fruit bearing. Amen. Hallelujah. My daddy, amen, preached to his grandmama. Amen. Back in the 60s. Hallelujah. His daddy out of five children was the only one that did not come into the church. Hallelujah, they told me he would stand on the outside of the church and look in the window and say, that man throwing something on them, and I don't know if I want that on me. Come on and say hallelujah. Amen, but what his daddy had enough understanding is that he brought Brother Leo and his sister, twin, Tangy, which is Deacon Bailey's mama, and brought them to the grandmama. Amen. Now that stuff that he didn't want on him. Amen. He wanted that stuff to get on his children. Come on and say hallelujah. Somebody thank God for fruit bearing. I wish I could have changed Willie James' mind. I wish I could have changed what was in his heart. Amen. But God grant me the peace. Oh, y'all need to thank God for how you got here. Hallelujah. All of you were not the best. Amen. Some folk made some bad decisions. But God had you on the mind, his mind. I am the true vine. And my father is the husband man. Every branch. Somebody thank God that you are branched in today. I'm not divine, but I'm a branch. I got a branch over here. Hallelujah. No, his daddy didn't come into church to help me. Hallelujah. Somebody thank God for the branch. Amen. But God was sent it that his son would come to help my son. Somebody thank God for more fruit in the house. You don't know like I know what the Lord is doing in this place. We call this 596 glory. Somebody give God some glory. Why? Because we're standing under an open heaven. How many realize that God has given you an understanding that you are not only standing, but you are operating under an open heaven. I wish I could get somebody that go back just a few years and say, Wah. come on and say hallelujah. I'm operating under an open heaven, Brother Pettiford. Before you got here, God gave me a word. Just encourage the saints. Amen. They thought that we was in the military. Amen. We were just saying, ooh-ah. Folks say, what does that mean? Oh, I'm operating you under a and. Somebody say, open heaven. Look at your neighbor and say, ooh-ah. Amen. I can remember, amen, the brother Fribley. Hallelujah. was blind and couldn't see. Amen. I'm trying to tell you about fruit bearing. Just like this young lady here. Hallelujah. The first time I met Brother Fribley. Amen. He was driving down Church Street. Running away from the police. A high speed chase. Hallelujah. He was so drunk. Uh, that he wrecked his car in the gas station. Uh, that was across the street. Uh, hallelujah. The loud, the sound was so loud uh, that it caused me to come out and run to see him. Uh, hallelujah. Saying, who is that? Uh, and he was running. Uh, just running from the police. Uh, come on and say hallelujah. They never caught him. 
But he got worried about his soul. So on that Sunday night, I was here preaching just with a handful of folk. And who came running in the church? That same man that I saw running from the police, he came running to God. Somebody thank God for fruit today. Give God some glory in the praise. And say, more fruit, G-R-A-M. There are folk in your life that have been placed there in your past. But you've given God a praise for your future. And what God is doing, he's stirring up yesterday and he's bringing it into your morrow. But you sitting here in your present and won't give God some praise. But I'm telling you, look back over your life. Amen. And think things over. If God brought you through that, he'll bring you through this. After all, I'm telling you, after all, the things you've been through, you need to know you're still got your joy. You still got your peace. Well, don't lose your praise. Somebody give God some praise in this house. And come on and say glory. I am the true vine. My father is the husband man. Every branch in me. You're going to be productive. Somebody thank God for production right now. Do y'all hear me on today? Somebody thank God for what he's producing in your life. God, give me the courage to accept the things. I mean, the, the peace to accept the things that I can't change. The courage to change the things that I can. And then I need the wisdom to know the difference. I need the wisdom to quit stressing out over stuff that God already done taken care of. I need the wisdom to not worry about people when I know I got the plan of God in my life. How many know when you got the wisdom of God through revelation, he'll give you an understanding what eyes have not seen. Go with me to 1 Corinthians. Just a few more minutes. I'm going to leave you. 1 Corinthians chapter number 2. First Corinthians chapter number two and verse number nine. If you got to say, I'm with you, pastor. Look at the text. It's very clear. But as it is written, say it's already written. Now, what are you referring to? It's already have been written before I got here. God have already decreed it in my past. I am. The true vine. My father is the husband man. He's the caretaker. He's the provider. God is letting you know I already have taken care of your problem before it ever became a problem. What you have to do is look at it the way God has ordained for you to look at it. How many realize that you already got the victory? I hear Dr. McCoy say, say, I'm a winner. Hallelujah. Do I have any tra track folk in here? Somebody who ever uh, ran track. If you ever, ever ran track, amen. Now, Lady McCoy, you better raise your hand up. You know, you got a state championship medal. I never told y'all that story. I, I got my little, amen, high school uh, letterman jacket. Hallelujah. With my... Uh, 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 Sing signals on there. How to get a little cool, cold. I'm gonna give her my letterman jacket. I'm just feeling good. She walk around with my letterman jacket. Amen. How many of you know that God know how to bust your bubble? <laughs> I mess around and go to her house, and I don't know what it was, but I'm just kind of looking around, looking around, and they got a little uh, uh, piano, upright piano, and on the piano with some medals there. And I know, recognize what the state championship medal looked like. I never had one, but I knew what it looked like. Come on and say hallelujah. So I'm looking at the medals, and I'm just assuming that it's one of her brothers. God know how to bust your bubble. I wanted to hide my jacket right there. Hallelujah. Then I found out she not only had one, but had three state championship medals sitting up there getting dust. 
Amen. Sister Bailey, I start picking up the metal, start dusting it off right like this. Hallelujah. I said, do you know what this is? Oh, that was a long time ago. You know, hallelujah. Amen. So, amen, in this track analogy, she know what it's like. Hallelujah. Because every track, amen, nobody bear. Come on and say hallelujah. When you come around that corner, if you have expended more energy, amen, at the wrong time, Amen. In your mind, you run in the same speed. In your mind, you're trying to finish strong. But the analogy is the bear will be waiting on that corner. Hallelujah. But those that are determined to win, they don't spend all of their energy in the beginning. They don't spend all of their energy worrying about who around. But I know I'm going to finish strong. Look at your neighbor and say, finish strong. Amen. God have saved his best for the last. God have saved your tomorrow so that you can understand that your yesterday was just a precursor. Somebody give God some praise for what eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither have it entered in the heart of man. The things that God have prepared for those that love him. I want you to know you about to come around that corner. You about to get to that place where everybody else going to start slowing down. They don't see God like you see him. But I see him high and lifting up. I see his train filling the temple. Anybody know that God is about to do something great in your life? Well, give him some praise for more fruit. Somebody give him praise for much fruit. Somebody give God some glory for what the daddy in the flesh didn't see. See, the daddy in the spirit, he brought it to you. Not only am I blessed, but my seed is blessed. My seed, seed is blessed. Everything that I put my hand on is blessed. Somebody better give God some glory. You sitting around here worried about what folks say. Amen. I got the victory. Somebody say victory. Y'all hear me on tonight? Uh, today, hallelujah, I called you to 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Hallelujah. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear have heard, neither have it entered into the heart of man, the things which God has already done. See, you, you operating in time. God transcends time. He prepared your deliverance before the foundation of the world. He chose you and him before there was a when or a where. He ordered your steps before there was a who or a how. Cameron, he told Jeremiah, before you were formed in your mother's womb, I ordained you to be a prophet unto the nation. One of the last conversations that I had with Cameron's father, he said, I want you to work with him because I know you can help him. Come on and say hallelujah. I don't know why God would take his father away, but I understand that God had already told him what my assignment was. And so when I come in and can see him sitting in the presence of God and reflect on the fact that me and his daddy was in the same homeroom, I'm glad we're in the homeroom. Come and go with me to my father's house. Come and go with me to my father's house. Somebody give God some joy. There's joy when one soul shall come unto repentance. Anybody glad for the fruit that's being born in this house? Anybody glad for the mind of repentance? Well, how can Brianna get repentance when she don't understand? Because when the promise was given to Rosa Dale, the promise was given to Willie Wright, the promise was given to the Baileys. And so whatever come out of the loins, you better give God some praise for Brianna's children. For upon this rock, I'm going to build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail 
battle against and you gonna let amen a few trouble in the world to cause you to be stressed let not your heart be troubled come on there are many mansions come on if it wasn't so I wouldn't have told you so you don't have to worry that your name is not right you don't have to worry cause your name is not Bailey you don't have to worry cause my daddy didn't know your daddy because McCoy is not the true vine McCoy is not the God of heaven but I come to tell you God sent me by here just to remind you that God is on your side and the word that he put in my mouth I have not seen ear have not heard neither had it entered in the heart of me the things that God have prepared he prepared this meal for you today the thing that God have prepared he prepared you to receive faith and faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God God wants you to get up from where you are God wants you to do what he's telling you to do and give God some praise some power praise some praise that shake the foundation some power praise you might be in prison and it might be midnight but at midnight Paul and Silas begin to praise can somebody can praise God until the doors of the jail that's got them locked in amen it got the free open come on and give God some glory you better praise him come on and praise him from the rising of the sun unto the going down of the sun I don't want you to praise him only with your mouth but I want you to praise him with the power that's in your hand somebody close your mouth but wave your hand if you can't do nothing I can still wave my hand I'm still here I'm still here I'm still here I'm still here I could be dead resting in my grave but I'm still here mother wave your hand sister wave your hand brother wave your hand somebody say glory why do I want you to wave your hand because Jesus is walking on the water he's coming in your direction Jesus is coming to somebody that have hope come on and say hallelujah all of the disciples saw him coming but they thought it was a ghost but Peter come on and say hallelujah but Peter with all of his problems said Lord if that's you bid me can anybody hear God calling you can anybody hear God calling your name I hear the master saying come I hear the master say come you need to tell your neighbor I hear the master now ask him do you hear what I hear Come on and ask him, do you see what I see? Do you know what I know? Just a few minutes. Everybody don't see it. Everybody don't hear it. Everybody don't know it. But Jesus told Peter, step out of the boat. Step out of the boat. That's the only thought I'm leaving with you on today. Step out of the boat. Lord, grant me the peace. You know what was on them waters? Breakers were dashing. Ship was rocking. Jesus had told the disciples, I'm going to the other side. But told them to get on the ship. 
Don't you know he knew the storm was coming? Why didn't he get on the boat with them? He was on the boat. He was in the words that he had already prepared. Lord, is it you? Come, Peter. And when he started walking, he wasn't walking on the bottom of the boat. When he started walking, he wasn't walking on dry ground. When he started walking, he did what his eyes have not seen. No, nobody else's eyes had seen. And it messed him up in his mind because he said, I'm doing something that humans couldn't do. But I come to tell you, God is doing something in your life and you can't let it stop you because you are human. You got to let it encourage you because I'm a child of God. Somebody give God your praise for some supernatural events in your life. You're going to lay hands on the sick. They're going to recover. The moment he stopped operating in the supernatural, just by being obedient, he began to sing. As we come back, post-pandemic, pre-pandemic, how many know there are going to be diseases? As we are left a pandemic and we're in the midst of a known war, What's happening in Ukraine is not the only war that's going on. Because all you got to do is read the news in Richmond Heights, a war is going on. All you got to do is read the, the news in Miami, New York, Daytona Beach, even in Sorrento, there's a war going on. Folk are dying. Amen. This narcotic, methamphetamine, hallelujah, and all of the derivatives are so addictive. If you thought a crack baby was something, you ain't seen some baby that's been born addicted to methamphetamine. Come on and say hallelujah. You haven't seen a child, hallelujah, that got that kind of disease on the inside and they realize that chemicals cannot get rid of chemicals. Hallelujah, because it will create a chemical imbalance. So what they do is teach you to overcome it with the power of your mind. They teach you not to get so caught up. I'm giving you something that can deaden your reaction, but you got to realize this addiction, they don't say spiritual, but how many know it's a spiritual addiction? Hallelujah, that demon is trying to destroy your life. But I wish I'd get somebody here who could be honest enough. God will give you power over narcotics. He'll give you power over alcohol. He'll give you power over legal and illegal drugs. He'll give you power over immorality. He'll give you power over lack of integrity. Why? Because the more you praise him, I know what it was, but I know what I'm now. An amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved the wretch like me. That's why eyes have not seen and ears have not heard because they can't hear your cry. Come on and say hallelujah because when they hear your flesh say God delivered me and it wasn't one step. It wasn't two steps. It wasn't three steps. I didn't make a step at all but they hung him high and stretched him wide. He hung his head and for me he died. Come on and say glory. I mean it realized that God saved you. Amen. He reached way down. Amen. Pick you up. Took the taste out your mouth. Took the desire out your heart. Took your eyes and turned it away from lust. And now I can see him clearly. Now I can follow him dearly. Now I know that my best. I know that my best is coming. Come on, somebody. 
it said, I got something coming. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. If you can just praise him, there's going to be a shout from heaven. There's a rushing mighty wind. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming on the children. It's coming. It's coming on the old. It's coming. It's coming on the young. I feel God. He's moving right now. Somebody wave your hand and say revive us. Somebody say yeah. 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 Straightway. I feel it coming. Sanford. I feel it coming. Gainesville. I feel it coming. Orlando. I feel it coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Get ready. Everybody stand on your feet for what you know God coming. What you know God you got coming. It's here, church. God grant me the peace. Except the things I can't change. Courage to change the things I can. And the wisdom. To know the difference. Ask your neighbor, do you know the difference? Do you know the difference? Do you know the difference? The anointing of God is on my life. God ordered my steps to be here today to touch and agree with you in word and in deed. There's a difference. Come on, just praise him. There's a difference. Even though Peter was chosen, even though he was called, he had to have that sinking experience. And from the point of sinking, he did what he could do. He could have stayed there and drowned. But he said, Lord, save me. Come on, ask him. Say, Lord, save me. He said, save my mind. Lord, save my attitude. God, save my disposition. I don't want to be lost. God, save me. Oh, God, there's trouble all around us. Death all around us. Lord, save me. That's why I wanted you to wave your hand. I just wanted you to wave your hand. Lord, I'm here. I'm here, Lord. That's one of the signs that you, amen, are in need of assistance. The only soldier that you see waving his hand is one that has surrendered. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. When I'm telling you to wave your hand and pray, you are surrendering to God and say, Lord, I surrender. I surrender all, all to thee I owe. Sin has left a crimson stain. Oh God, I need you to save me. I need you to save me, God. I need you to save me. I need you to save me, God. I need you to save me. All of the other disciples, they're in the boat. But you told me that you prayed for me. That my faith won't fail me. When I'm converted, I believe that it was in his sinking day that God gave him an understanding of the power of conversion. I believe your worst day is also your best day. I believe your most difficult time is your most powerful time. Do I have a witness in here that no God brought you to a point where you thought it was over? But you understood the wisdom. 
to know the difference. So Dr. McCoy, when the Lord reached down and picked him up, hallelujah, I believe that was the beginning of his understanding. I'm not like everybody else. Mother McCoy, it does not say that the other disciples didn't hear what the Lord told Peter. It was Peter's question that God responded to. And Peter asked God concerning this power, even in a doubtful way. <laughs> he said, flesh and blood have not revealed this unto you. Anybody thank God for what God is saying to you today? God, flesh and blood didn't reveal this to you. But my Father in heaven, I only want to pray for the binding and loosing saints. If you're sick, that's not my assignment. My assignment is to pray for the binding and loosing saints that are at 596 West Church Street right now. There's some stuff that's loose in your house, loose in your job, loose around you. And you keep going to God about changing it. And God is telling you through the words of my, that he put in my mouth today, whatsoever you bind on earth, I bind it in hell. All of the binding and loosening saints, come right now, come right now, real quick, right, right here, come right here. The power to bind right now in the name of Jesus. Come on, right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The power to bind, the power to bind, the power to bind, the power to bind. It's not going to take long. It's not going to take long. I want you to line. Amen. Across right now. Hallelujah. Line up right now. In the name of Jesus, the power to bind, the power to bind, the power to bind, the power to bind. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Everyone just stick your hands out. Deacon Bailey's going to pour, amen, a little dab of oil in each of your hands, each of them. Come on, right now, each one of them, each one of them, the power to bind. As you get the oil in both hands, I want you to rub them together. I want you to rub them together right now. Hallelujah. Come on down here, Mother Wilson. Come on down. Hallelujah. That's right. Rub your hands together right now. Rub your hands together. Rub your hands together right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As you rub your hands together, say bind and loose. 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 Come on, let's break up the fallow ground right now. In the name of Jesus, bind, 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 and loose. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. God has given you the power to bind. He's given you the power to loose. No man can go into the strong man's house until he at first bind the strong man. This demon that's running through, running loose, need to be bound right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on, step out. Get out of that boat. Come on, get out of that boat. Get out of that boat. Come on, get out of that boat. Get out of that boat. I know this is not conventional. I know the other disciples are sitting there. They still afraid, but God has called you out. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, step out in the water. I want everybody to take a big step forward right now in the name of Jesus. The power of God resting upon your life. The power of God upon you to bind. Bind. Bind right now in the name of Jesus. Every restriction, every hindrance, it's bound right now. Every hard place is bound right now in the name of Jesus. Bow, bow, bow. From the crown of your head is bound 
Come on, lift your hands in victory. It's bound right now. No more bondage. Free right now in the name of Jesus. Bind according to the promises of God. Haven't been seen, haven't been heard. But God has made you productive. Right now in the name of Jesus. Ah! In the name of Jesus. In the name of ah! Oh my God, my God, my God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Y'all look at me clearly, look at me clearly. Come here, Deacon Bailey. Come here, Deacon Bailey. Come here, Deacon Bailey. Come here, Deacon Bailey. Hallelujah. Now, everybody look at me. Everybody who's been assigned to bind. Hear what I'm saying. Somebody say, bind and loose. Come on and say, bind and loose. You've been given the power to bind. Whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. But whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loosed in hell. The power to loose is for your use. Dr. McCoy, I want you to walk to somebody in this building. And I want you to loose them right now in the name of Jesus. The prayers of the righteous, the prayers of the believer. I want everybody that came for this prayer of binding, that was only part of it. Hallelujah. Come here, Deacon Bailey. Hallelujah. Just like I lay hands on Deacon Bailey. Hallelujah. I want you to understand you got power in your hand. Somebody thank God for power in your hands right now. Hallelujah. I'm going to bind every demon, but I'm going to loose the heart of heaviness. I'm going to loose, amen, this heart that's been burdened with deaths right now in the name of Jesus. Now you go and operate in the power of loosing right now. Let the Holy Spirit guide your feet and loose them right. I am on a check. Say in the name of Jesus. I lay hands on you in the name of Jesus. Hey. Hallelujah. Where there's two gather together in my name, touching and in agreement. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there. Come on, believer. Come on, believer. Come on, believer. In the last days, I'm going to pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. My sons and my daughters, they're going to prophesy. Old men going to dream dreams. Young men shall see visions. Everybody that got a vision of the Christ, let him know I see Jesus. I see Jesus. I see him high. I see him lifted up. I see him exalted. I see him at the right hand of God. I see him making intercession for all of his people. Come on, Zion. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Somebody say yeah. Somebody say yeah. Somebody say yeah. Yeah. Ah, he's all right. 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 There's a right now miracle that's in your lips. There's a right now miracle that's on your mind. You can get what you need from God. And you got it right now. Whoa. Whoa. Come on, church. Come on, come on. Let me hear your war cry. Come on, somebody that know you in a battle with the enemy. Come on, let me hear your war cry. Come on, let me hear your war cry. Come on and let me hear your war cry. Ah, he's all right. 
He's all right. He's all right. He's all right. He's all right. He's all right. Yeah. Right quick, right quick. Everybody who's lost their mother, you here and you don't have a mother. I want you to come on, surround this child right now. Come on, right now. Everybody who don't have a mother, real quick, surround this child right now. We about to birth something out of her. We about to birth something out of her. In the name of Jesus, we about to birth something out of her. In the name of Jesus, mother. Ah, hallelujah. You've been through it. You know what it's like. Hallelujah. 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 You know what's it like. You know what it's like. Hallelujah. You a motherless child. Hallelujah. But God has given you the ability to produce right now in the name of Jesus. Come on, bring this child out. Come on, bring this child out. Come on and bring this child out. I need some mothers that know what travailing is. I need some mothers that know what it's like to cry. Come on and say yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This child is gifted. From the first time I laid hands on her, there's a spirit that operates in her that brings deliverance. Since she's been able to talk, God's been using her gift. But the devil wants to destroy her life. But the devil is a liar. Come on. You lost. But God gave it back to you. Birth it out of this child. 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 Come on, mother. Travail. Travail. Go to God. Travail. Go to God. Come on, mother. Come on, mother. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. Yeah, come on, I feel it leaping. I feel it jumping. I feel it dancing. Come on, Mary. You having a conversation with Martha. Come on, Mary. You having a conversation with Elizabeth. Come on, Mary. You having a conversation with Salome. Come on, Mary. I don't know what's happening, but the stool had the blockage. Whatever was blocking. It's being open. Come on and birth it right now. Holy Ghost is here right now. Holy Ghost is here right now. Every born again believer that got the Holy Ghost, begin to call on the name of Jesus right now. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Everybody that got the Holy Ghost, start calling on Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Holy Ghost is here right now. The Holy Ghost is here right now. Come on, come on, come on. Holy Ghost. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Holy Ghost. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Amen. He's rich unto all of them that call upon his name. Come on, produce right now. Whosoever that call on the name of the Lord shall not might shall not on tomorrow but shall I'm telling you there's a right now miracle shall be saved Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Holy Ghost I hear the tongues I hear the prophecy I hear the word of the living God you need to hear it in the spirit I hear God talking you need to hear it in the spirit I hear God talking come on and give him glory Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. One by one, one by one, take that hand of loosen. I want everybody, every one by one, take that hand of loosen and put it on her abdomen. That's right, one by one, real quick, real quick. Just touch her real quick and go on to your seat. Touch her right now. Touch and agree right now. 
Hallelujah. I touch and agree with you right now in the name of Jesus. I touch and agree with you right now. Out of your belly, daughter, shall flow rivers of living water. Y'all pray with her. Hallelujah. She too gifted not to have the Holy Ghost. She got too much on her life not to come to an understanding how to operate in this gift. Hallelujah. The devil desires to keep you in the boat. But you got to get out of that boat. You got to get on that water. Hallelujah. Amen. As you go to your seat, somebody give God some eternal praise right now. Amen to our God. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah to our God. Heaven is in this place, church. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Only a few times in my ministerial life have I felt as heavy in the spirit as I did when I woke up this morning. Only a few times in my life. And I just couldn't get myself together. I tried to remain focused and things just wasn't going like I thought they should be because you know sometimes you feel like if everything go like it should be it kind of realign you anybody know what I'm talking about when there's a spiritual heaviness on you and you can't explain it but you do understand it hallelujah knowing what's assigned to me today hallelujah I just kept persevering my son is downstairs when he tell you when I came in I went rushing to the bathroom hoping that I would kind of somehow get rid of, amen, what was on my life. Amen, come out of the bathroom, still felt the same. Hallelujah. So when you saw me minister, it's ministering not because I felt like I was where I should be. Anybody thank God for transparency? Come on and say hallelujah. But as I begin to share the word of God, as I begin to deliver what God has given unto me, I'm telling you, I feel better now than I felt all day long. I feel closer to God than I've ever felt in all the days of my saved life. I feel right now closer to God today than I've ever felt, felt before. And I was saved the 22nd of March, 1974. But it was through that heaviness being obedient, preaching, and delivering, God gave me the release. Somebody thank God for releasing your life right now. Why am I sharing this? Because until you minister and pour out what God has put in you, God has assigned a heaviness to your spirit. And some of y'all walking under that heaviness right now and don't understand it's because you won't minister. You won't release what God has for you. Because you're so caught up in your pain that you don't realize pain is all around us. How many realize the world is hungry for the living bread? Hallelujah. You're so focused on your condition that you won't even do what you can to help. Lord, give me the peace to accept the things that I cannot change. I need some courage to change the things I can. Anybody going to receive that ministry mandate in your life right now? I'm telling you, there's some stuff that's burdening you. But if you get into the operational ministry, hallelujah. I'm commissioning you to do what God has already assigned you to do. But I'm going to warn you, you don't need a title to do it. Come on and say thank you, Jesus. Amen. Don't run out and go get you no license and all that stuff like that. You just operate in the spirit. God got too many licensed folk who ain't got no power. Hallelujah. I need somebody who got the power. You know why they called John the Baptist? Because he baptized. <laughs> you let the gift operate in you and folk would know you by the gifts. How many know a tree is known by the what? The fruit it bears. Get out the boat and be productive. But I want you to know your sinking days is your saving days. There is a Pentecost but you got to be down and you got to release so that God can put you where he wants you to be. Amen. Hallelujah. Sister Matt. 
All right. Come on, clap your hands as Sister Massey will come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. Monday at 6.30 a.m., please call in and join us for our sweet hour of intercessory prayer with our bishop. The dial-in number, 520-537-5237. On Tuesday at 7.30 p.m., please call in or log in to Facebook. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. To join us for a refuel Bible study with the bishop. Wednesday, please remember to fast and pray. Our corporate fast is from 6 p.m. We thank God for the Holy Ghost that is in this place in the name of Jesus. What a word we've heard on today. And so where she left off, we want to remind everyone that Wednesday is our corporate time of prayer and fasting. Everybody is asked to just make that sacrifice. Maybe you can't do the 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Maybe you can only do six minutes, but whatever it is that you can do, Bishop is encouraging us to bind and to loose. And we got to remember the word of God says some kind only go out, but by prayer and by fasting. So join us as we accept this challenge to bind and loose. Join us in this time of prayer and fasting this Wednesday from 6 a.m. until 6 p.m. in the name of Jesus. We'd like to remind everyone of our fastly approaching Fresh Fire, sponsored by our ABYPU department. This is a diocese function. Everyone is going to be a part of it on that Friday night. We're going to be here at 7.30 p.m. for a mighty move of God, Fresh Fire, mighty move of God. And then on Saturday, Pastor McCoy is asking everyone to please join him as he shares with us what the Spirit of the Lord has given him for this ministry. And that is this March the 24th, 25th, be here at 12 noon, I'm sorry, 11.30 a.m. on that Saturday with Pastor McCoy, that Friday night, 7.30 p.m., with the fresh fire. The speaker is going to be the chaplain of the International ABYPU Department, and we don't want anybody to miss this mighty move of God. Bishop is just setting us up. We're getting ready for a mighty move, and we want everybody to be ready for it, dressed spiritually and ready for it in the name of Jesus. We also would like to remind everyone that the diocese calendar is going to be released soon. When you see that diocese calendar, please make certain that you mark it in your personal calendar so we can all be in one place and on one accord. Well, next Sunday is the third Sunday, and that is women's ministry. We thank God for our minister and deacon wife, Gil, who has led us this month. 
focusing on women's appreciation. And I think Bishop said it best. Sometimes we're so caught up of what's going on in our lives and we forget that everybody is going through. This pandemic is impacting everybody. And so we just want all the sisters to just stand wherever you are, all the women, if you would just stand. And let's just embrace one another. Find a woman in the house if you don't want to embrace her bumper whatever it is that you have to do and let her know i'm in this with you i'm going through it too i got celebrations going on i got tragedies going on triumph going on but i know that i'm a winning woman i'm a winning woman of wisdom wellness and wealth and so that was the challenge from lady mccoy and the minister and deacon wife guild this month that we would remember women in our lives who are doing great things, those women who have gone on before us, who instill great things in our lives. So we celebrate Women's History Month. On next Sunday, everyone is invited to, you can wear all three of the colors, and the colors are purple, green, and white. You can wear all three, or you can just wear one of those colors, but just as a sign of unity, all of the women are asked to unite together as we celebrate women and as we remind one another, we're all going through. You are not alone. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. Whatever it is you're going through, my sister, know that we are right there with you. We're praying one for another in the name of Jesus. These are our announcements. We ask that you do as you always so kindly do, and that is to govern yourselves accordingly. As Bishop is coming, just stretch your hand to my sister, our angel missionary Beatrice Massey, and let her know we love you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I am a living testimony. I could have been dead and gone, but Lord, you let me live on. Oh, I am a living testimony. I want to take this time to thank the Lord I'm still alive. I think I added some more than that. I just want to take this time to thank him that I'm still alive. Anybody glad you're still alive right now? Look at David just say, I'm a living testimony. Amen. Thank you, GRM. Amen. For always making me feel, amen, that y'all, amen, are still who you're supposed to be. Amen. I shared it at the uh, reception. John wrote in his epistle, I have no greater joy than know that my children walk in the truth. I can remember when God started revealing unto me. Amen, what my next assignment was before I even knew what the assignment was. But I told y'all that we would transition and started putting things in place. And I can remember some of the public and the personal concerns that individuals shared with me. What we gonna do? What we gonna do? What we gonna do? But how many know, amen, better is here, but greater is coming. Amen, we thank God for what's coming and we give God, the, so when I come back and I can see where you are, See what God is doing in your life. It just brings me great joy and excitement. Amen. To know that God is not through with us. I believe, and I'm going to get the statistic, okay, so I won't be just quoting others. But over 40,000 churches, I'm sorry, over 40,000 ministers during the pandemic left the ministry, documented, 40,000 warriors just quit. They doing whatever else, say they just can't do it. Over 20,000 churches closed, can't survive. I guess if the preacher walk away, it's going to be hard for <laughs> Church to make so they just closed up. Isn't that sad? Isn't that sad? As bad as law enforcement is, I don't see a mass exodus of, of law enforcement people running away. 
as bad and as hard as the healthcare system is, I don't see a mass exodus of folk going away. As bad as the education system is, I don't see a mass exodus. Now these are people who are in the service industry. But the saints of God, we think we're going to do something else and it be pleasing to God because it's hard. With that absence, how many know God will always have somebody to represent him? I believe, based on my study of scripture and the experience, that because so many at the top have left the duties, God is raising up individuals. God use whoever he want to use to accomplish his will. Let him use you. Let him use you. Everywhere I'm going, I'm, tell, I'm praying for you that the Father of glory will give you the spirit of wisdom. Anybody receive that spirit of wisdom right now? Come on, stand on your feet right now as we get ready to go. Dr. McCoy. You said she'll be 18. Mm. He told me, he said, Iris baby was blessed. I said, Iris baby? Man, I'm getting old around here. <laughs> I remember when there wasn't no Iris. Good God Almighty. But thank God for production. Amen. Amen. Y'all know my family is growing. Look at my daughter in love holding my grandson and my other grandchildren on both sides of them. Amen. I remember we came here. I had one son and a pregnant wife. Amen. Now I got a whole bunch of folk. Thank God for my life. In Jesus. Amen. Everybody say amen. Everybody say amen. Everybody say amen. G.I.M., we're going to go old school now. Amen. Amen. Come on, brothers, Amen. all the brothers. Everybody say, Jeremiah, Amen. I need to hear you, all the brothers. Every brother, everybody say. Amen. Come on, brothers, come on, all the brothers, Amen. I don't hear you. Everybody say. Amen. I've been here 30 years, and the women always win. All the sisters say. Sisters say, all the sisters say, come on, brothers. I thought we had it by now. Come on, all together, everybody, everybody say, this the Deacon Mills rock. Everybody say, Deacon Lambert Mills, everybody say, amen. Holy hands lifted without wrath and without doubt. The God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant. Our prayer is that he make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Peace, saints. Amen. God bless you.